Okay, so this is how I built my firing mechanism for like my slam fire shotguns that I have instead of the old style. I use a simple coupler. Now this one I'm using half inch because the uh, size gun I'm going to be making is a 410 or 45 caliber. So a little bit smaller, smaller than my 28 gauge, a whole lot smaller than 12 gauge or anything like that. Just a small piece of pipe that I'll screw in there. On there. And when you go to shoot this, I'd crank it down with the benches, make sure it's nice and tight. And then for the real firing mechanism, you take a plug, drill a hole in the back of it to where you can uh, put a screw in there. Now, one thing I don't like is these plugs are hollow. Old plugs used to be completely solid. The old fashioned style plugs, any new plugs that you buy now we're gonna have this hollow, hollowed out chamber in the back. And it's just to reduce metal, so they're not using as much metal in each part. Just so they can make these cheaper and sell more of them. But it really stinks for when you're trying to build a gun because you really need that to be flat. But what I did instead of, because that's not flat, possibly this might be safer, I don't know. Uh, if it was solid, you could just drill and thread the entire thing and then put your bolt in there right now make a nice tip or whatever but what i do because i don't have any of those old style plugs uh, you can take a bolt like this that'll fit just barely inside there i don't know if you can see that there's just like a slight gap all the way around it and it won't fit down in there right now it gets nice and tight but then if you take a wrench and you crank down on the back of this It'll actually pull this bolt all the way back inside there. So then it's very easy to, uh, it'll make this flush and that'll give you a flat backing plate for your, the back of your shell to rest up, a, up, up against to where the back of the shell won't explode in the old style ones. So that's how you make that. I'm gonna get something to tighten this one down.